cold-hearted holograms, welcome back to Automation Empire. That's right, I'm the chief cold-hearted hologram orbital potato. Right, so, uh, things went relatively well in the last episode, and, uh, we, we figured out, we figured out collectively, I like to think, uh, how to stick processed iron into, into a, uh, into a, into a research lab, which is pretty darn cool. So that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do over the course of this here episode. Uh, we are going to hopefully plonk more and more and more and more and more iron into, uh, into the into the research labs processed iron that is and that will allow us to unlock the uh, The combiner which will allow us to refine resources together into much heavier combined resources by implementing this factory machine into your supply train in, Into your supply chain yada 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 you get the picture. That's what we're gonna try and do uh, We're gonna try and claim. Yep. There we go claim uh, Claim these research factories research factories research things whenever they become available. Anyway, that's that that's cool I'm, I'm pretty happy with that uh, we still need to improve this area somewhat. I did say towards the very, very, very end of the last episode that now that I know the secret sauce to success, that's right, now that I know how to, how to do this, I think I want to, I think I straight up just want to create like a massive minecart of all of the refined gold and then I want to ship that across here rather than using this reasonably inefficient uh, this reasonably inefficient system uh, I mean we can still keep this as is but what we will do oh no we can't uh, we can't do this what did I what did I do over at the other factory I want to copy basically exactly what I did at the other factory so that we can refine the gold and get it get it where it needs to go uh, we literally just have Okay, literally just that okay. I think I I think I know I think I know what I need to do Okay, we're still gonna need to use claws because the claws are Pretty essential essential operation really Okay, and then I'm going to get a I'm going to get an unloader I'm going to get an unloader right about here. If we get an unloader right about here, this might this might just work out. Roll with me for a second, folks, as we adventure down this mad, mad, mad thought process that I uh, that I have. Okay, so that's gonna go under there. We're gonna come out over here. That's grand. Let's get a good old fashioned unload station. That's right, so an unload station goes right there at the very end. We're going to get ourselves one of the one of the transfer tubes, which is going to allow the resources to be sucked up. We're going to suck it up in that direction. We're going to transfer to a... We're actually going to transfer to a large container, because it's going to be much easier to, to manage, but also it's a resource which we're going to need to, you know, have in fairly large quantities. Uh, and then, hold up. That needs to be different. That needs to be a load station. There we go. So that should be fine, right? That should be fine. That's grand. So we should have all of the resources sucked into the container. And then, perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm straight up just going to put down another sucky out tube. That's right, that is the technical term. Sucky, sucky, blowy, blowy, or whatever the whatever the heck I, I, I decided to call it. I'm sticking with that naming convention. And then let's get uh let's get a let's get a mine track. A mine cart track mine cart track mine. Yeah, let's get one of those things. Right now, right here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plonk down a factory door right over there, factory door right over here, and we're just gonna run the track straight through. I keep clicking the track button, even though I want to be clicking the uh, the minecart track button. Okay, and this, to be honest, this doesn't really need to be, this doesn't actually really need to be circular. Uh, okay, I guess I didn't really need to put that door in there, but whatever the case, we're gonna make, we're gonna make a, a track that takes the resources all the way over here. Sure, all the way over here, yep. And then we're going to have a unload station right over here. Now, I want to get over the roads, and this is not something that I've ever done before. So let's do that, and then let's see if we can get a ramp. Ah, we can indeed get a ramp. Is a ramp going to allow me to get over the road? That's the, the real question. I guess we're going to have to find out. Okay, ditch. Ditch that. 
And I do it again. I don't do it again. Get me. No, hold on. Take it. Take it back a little bit. Just take it back. Rotate that right there, and perfect. Yeah, something like that. That's pretty reasonable. Okay, that connects up there, and yes, this is the way that we can go over the road, which is just grand. Okay, let's get a down ramp. We're gonna ditch this in a second anyway, so I'm pretty, pretty okay with getting rid of this, uh, this claw track. Let's get rid of that as well. Okay, this is gonna, this is gonna work like an absolute dream. Okay. Perfect. And then what we're going to want to do over here is we're going to want to find the space to get a to get a sucker. Uh, yep, it's going to look like that. And that can go there, so that's what we're going to do. Just a single sucker, I think, is, is fine enough for now. And then we're going to need to get a crate maker. The crate maker can... The crate maker can actually go there. Yeah, that's that's actually okay. That's fine. The reason that it's fine is because... I'm just about to elaborate. We're going to need to get power over here as well. That's it's a good thing that there is power cables just over here. Grand. That's a, a truly awful place, Potato. A truly awful place for exactly what I'm looking to try and do. Okay. Uh, yep. That right there. And you know what? We'll extend it by just another one as well. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll get the the claw the the cat claw, the claw thing. Yep, we'll get that over here. And just a nice sort of short little short little track in complete contrast to what I'm actually doing right now. So just ignore just ignore exactly what I'm doing right now and instead just think of what I could be doing. Right. That is that is okay. That is that is fine. That that that's okay. Yeah. Any, anyway, as soon as we get the as soon as we get the bit of tech that allows us to do the claw cat the unlock claw track truck unloader, that will allow me to directly use this claw track to to unload onto these uh, onto those trucks. But that's not what we're able to do at the moment, so that's fine. Anyway, let's get a whole bunch of trucks and let's see let's see if this straight up works or not. I think it should. I think it absolutely should. Everything should be unloaded. Just like so. Grand. Yep, yeah, nice. Okay, the train is filling up with gold. That's wonderful. This is this is working like an absolute dream. Yep, working like an absolute dream. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Great. Uh, I mean, it's not technically perfect as it does skip a yeah it skips a bit but i mean that's that's okay honestly i think that that's i think that that's still sort of a fine a fine setup for uh, for what we've got yeah very very happy with that that's 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 pretty darn good okay so that should be the gold train traveling we don't need to we don't need to ha keep this track around anymore this track can as far as i'm concerned be completely destroyed uh what we will have to do is we will have to extend this minecart track just up a little bit so that we can allow all of the gold to be sucked out and then let's add a whole bunch of claws over here that's too many claws that is far too many claws and also we need to make sure that we've got loading loading points there we go yeah so this is a setup for two claws There we go. Okay. I mean, I don't I don't love this. I don't love this. Let me try and Yeah, let me try and do that. Then I can add a couple more claws on. I can get about 5, I think. There we go. 5 seems pretty darn reasonable. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's going to be quite a lot of gold that we're going to be able to process. And that should theoretically mean that we've just got a much higher gold output. We've not sold gold for a while. But now, now that we've got that online, we should be... That was not a smart move, Potato. Not a smart move. N not a smart move at all. There we go. That's a slightly smarter move. Reconnecting. Reconnecting power. Okay. 
get that all tidied away. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so that whole that whole claw track, I mean, it wasn't for nothing. It was a nice educational experience, and it was important. It was really, really important that we uh, that we did it, but you know, not not super important. Uh, the other thing that I could think about doing is, ooh, yes, lots and lots of research points. Wonderful. How are we doing in terms of research points? We are not doing too badly. Uh, you know, still we could do a heck of a lot better. That's for sure. We very much could, but we're we're going full tilt. We're going absolutely full tilt. And we've got as many as many hubs as we possibly can working away at that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's really, really good. Most of our most of our productive time should be spent in this area. I hope. That's the plan anyway. It shouldn't really take that long to hold on, I need to extend that a little bit more. Uh yet yeah, just just about that far. Yeah, maybe there's a case to make this uh, to make this system circular. Yeah, there probably is. And there's definitely a case to make more than just two little outputs over here. Yeah. And there's almost certainly definitely a case to make more than one single flipping crate maker. That is a problem. That is going to be that is going to be a real real problem. I didn't truly anticipate how much of an issue that would probably be given that we've got sort of three or four trucks on the go at any one given time. Yeah, that's uh that's a straight up that's a straight up conundrum that is. That is a straight up conundrum. Hmm. Just wondering if there's any way that we could go about fixing that. I mean, we could. We could bring the track round here and up and over and do the processing over here. You know what? That might that might be best. That might be best. I mean, I'd rather... I'd rather have a good gold system right now. I know this is going to be... This is going to be a pain. We can leave that... We can leave that sort of running for now. But I, I would very much like... Yeah, height level 2. There we go. I would very much like to make sure that my gold system is is as good as it can possibly be. There we go. Because if it's not if it's not good, then we've got problems. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, so let's get it set up. Let's get it set up to work a little bit better over here. We'll have that and then we will link to a yet yeah, to a big big tub. Perfect. And that should that should take a while to fill up. And that will allow us, that will absolutely allow us to get multiple multiple uh what are these called? Crate makers. That's the that's the term that I was looking for. There we go. Oh, these need to be connected with uh transfer tubes, don't they? And I'm pretty sure that I it did not do that appropriately. Okay, stick a transfer tube. Let's start with four crate makers, because I think four crate makers will pretty much just wipe me out financially. Yep, almost. Absolutely almost. It's a bit of a contradiction there. Absolutely almost, but you get the picture, right? Okay, and then let's move... Let's move... That, okay, apparently I cannot do that because I have insufficient funds. It's a bit of a bummer. A bit of a downer. Alright, it's not efficient. I'm not proud of it, but it is what it is. Okay, give me a... Yeah, unload system like so. Okay, that's all we can get, apparently. That's fine. And how much more gold do we have over here? We got a little bit of gold. We got a little bit of gold, which we're just gonna we're just gonna let slide. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get rid of this whole process in just a second. Okay, man, I am really really happy with how this is coming along. This is this is looking and feeling a heck of a lot better than uh, than it once was. Yeah, very 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 happy with this. Okay, so everything should get sucked up nice and nice and easily. 
a few more bits and bobs to pick up. There's what, two more crates? Yeah, two or three more crates of, of content. Of content, of gold. Gold is the technical term, of course. Okay, so let's get that, and then we can start clearing this up. And I don't think there is anything else to come in here. Oh, there apparently there is. Apparently there totally is just a little bit more gold. Okay. I have no idea. I I had no idea that there was so much gold. Okay, that's a crate maker right there. Let's uh, ditch that. And that's that. Cool. All right. Clean this up. Clean this up. And let's clean this up too, as it's not necessary. Or should I say it will be necessary, but it's not necessary right this very second. Okay, uh, power cable right there. That's grand. Looks a bit trash, but it's okay. Let's get another, another unload station. That's right. And then the magnum opus, the OG of this whole setup is not going to allow me to collect connect properly because otherwise we'll run into some issues. That's okay. Okay, and then turn this way. Turn that way. Turn that way. And, oh, I was so close. I was so close to getting the distance just spot on. And yet, here we are. Okay, bish bash bosh. Thank you very, very much. Okay, get an unloader over there. Get a loader over here over here and I completely duffed that up but that's okay because I can cover for my mistakes that's absolutely fine right that over there great let's get let's get as many claws as we possibly can as there is no reason to limit ourselves uh, because the claws operate in a in a circular fashion we got nothing to worry about that's looking and feeling pretty darn good Everything should get loaded up, and this means, of course, that we've got more and more crate makers. So each crate can sort of uh, each crate maker can supply more uh, more crates. So in total, rather than having thirty crates available for all of our gold supply, we now have four times thirty. So I don't know what is that? One hundred and twenty? Yeah, one hundred and twenty is, is is pretty is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. So uh, so yeah, that's really really nice. Let's go back over and check on the gold factory over here. We're going to need to link gold up to the system fairly soon. And this system is, is also fairly inadequate. Okay, let me get a... Let me get a load station there. And... Claw train. Insufficient funds. Alright, well that's fun. But I'm sure that that will be rectified in just a second once we get like another another order or two through. Also, some more science to collect. Let's get that collected. How are we doing? How are we doing on the science progress tech? Okay, we're getting there. I mean, we're getting there. It's nothing, nothing super special, but it's it's not too bad. Yeah, gold. We do want to get gold. That would unlock waterworks. I mean, waterworks seem nice. They they will allow us to do a whole bunch of sort of technical special stuff. But I'm really after the train. I am I am really, really after that train. I gotta be real with you. I'm after that train. Very much so. Also, this is a problem because we're not able to get We're not able to get the other end of this train into the into the into the into the gold the gold area, the gold storage area where it's supposed to be where it's supposed to be operating. Okay, and now I straight up just don't have enough money to buy the stuff that I want to buy. Okay, yeah, okay, pause the game, and then that will allow us to make exactly what we want to make. I need to get three unloaders. Yep. That needs to be on top there. Needs to be on top there. Grand. Okay, and that should... That should fix all of our issues. We should have no further issues whatsoever. Right? We've already got 12 claws. Let's resume.
Okay, I guess that kind of worked. Kinda. Not exactly as I intended, but yeah, it's okay. Uh, what we could do is we could have like another another sucking point up here. That would be that would be not too not too bad, not too shabby. Yeah, because at the moment we're not using anywhere near the capacity of gold that we're we're outputting. And I think that we could definitely do with changing that. Also, this area doesn't even have a pickup. That's just that's just poor planning. That's just really poor planning. Okay. Another pickup point. Yeah, so what if I get a unload station? Right here. Yeah. No, sorry, load station. No, 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 my bad, my bad. Yeah, load station. And load station right there as well. Great, let's get a step conveyor right there. Step conveyor right there. Let's pause and just sort of chat about what exactly I want to do. We'll get a sucky, sucky, uppy, uppy thing. There we go. And then we will have a unload station at the very bottom of this process. And most importantly of all, most importantly of all, we need to divert the flow of this track. And I think the way to do it is probably like this. Yeah, so we're going to come around, take a fairly sharp corner here. This is, this is, I think, the most optimal way to do it. I say the most optimal way to do it. You know, uh, the least bad way to do it, I think, maybe, is, is probably... Is probably what I mean. Okay. Uh, yep. Cool. And right up the middle here. And right over there. Okay, grand. And then we're going to have one more drop-off point. Unpause. And that should allow us to drop off at loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of points. Sell that. That's not super necessary. Okay, hold on. Pause a second. I need to get a few more bits and bobs. I need to get a thingy over here, which will delete the crates, which is super nice, super good. And I need to get an unload point over there. Okay, unpause and go. So that should theoretically mean that we're able to process just that little bit more. Just that little bit more gold. good stuff okay I guess we'll we'll see won't we we'll see we'll see if we're picking up any more any more gold on the way around it certainly seems like we're disposing of more gold I like this setup I like this setup a lot yeah this seems to be this seems to be working well I approve I very much approve of this message hold on how do I extend this track yeah extend this track extend it up there that's a temporary solution it's a little bit of a an ugly and a little bit of an ugly an ugly fix there, but it basically just means that we extend the length of the track and it allows all all of the different barrels to be sucked up. There we go. And now what do you know? It looks like we're shipping more and more gold. Alright, ignore the fact that there is apparently a thingy on the screen. Yeah, that's a bit of a bit of a bit of a bummer. Not entirely sure why that's Okay, there we go. I got rid of it. How fantastic. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so lots and lots of gold coming in, which is great. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Very, very nice indeed. And all of that is being sucked up here. And it looks like we're absolutely managing to get rid of this gold with, with record speed, actually. That's really, really good. Okay, so that's that. That's that's working away uh, quite nicely, quite happily in the background. How are we doing over here? I'm, I'm not super sure that I'm super happy with this area. I mean, we're we're sort of bottlenecked on quite a lot of production over here. Mm. Coal ore, iron ore. It's 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 pretty lame to be honest. Not not super happy with this. Not super happy with this at all. Yeah. I think I need to I need to do something. I need to do something that'll change that'll change up the formula a little bit over here. The only question, the only question is what? What do we need to do in order to make this area just work a little bit better? I mean, well, first of all, there's no real reason why we should be using 
coal ore and iron ore in any of our in any of our researching places. We should be using we should be using refined iron ore. Refined iron ore, and the problem is, is that we've got refined We've only got refined copper ore here. Okay, accepted resource, only iron. Destroy contents of the coal ore? Yeah, okay, and only accept iron. Destroy all crates on... Yeah, get rid of this, get rid of coal, and let's only accept iron into this process, okay? Nice. I mean, it's not perfect, but it will it will mean that we only have iron going into the going into the trucks over here, which is quite good, and that's fine. Uh, then we're probably going to want to find a place to offload the extra coal. So let's maybe think about setting up a crate maker like over here. We can get just a, a sucky sucky pumpy pumpy. That's right, and we'll just stick a crate maker right over there cool does that not have power do we do we not have enough power it just doesn't have power apparently not super sure about that does that have power now that 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 totally has power are we overpowered we're not overpowered not yet not yet okay so that's gonna suck off I mean, excuse me, that's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna, that's gonna go, <laughs> that's gonna go right over there. <laughs> that's note to self, don't you, <laughs> don't use that. That was absolutely unintentional, and yet it still absolutely happened. Okay, um, yeah, so, get that over there. Cool, drone priority is medium, we can just get any resources that are that are left left over hold on pause we want to use coal ore yeah store coal ore over here so we'll suck up all of the coal ore and all of the all of the iron will be taken in here nope that should be iron ore it should not be iron it needs to be iron ore cool okay so that's so that's fine. That is that is our iron that is our iron production system sorted. So we should always be we should always be making about as much iron ore as we possibly can. Uh, we should be able to have drones over here. I mean, is there a better way to do this? There, I tell you what, there is a better way to do this. The better way to do this is to get the claws to come out here. Yeah, yeah, just simply extend the claw train. Literally up there, and then we'll have a pickup point right over here, and then turn off the, the drone priority. And that'll just get it moved around to where it needs to be. I don't think that we're going to have any capacity issues. I think that it's going to be totally fine. Yeah, not super worried by that. I think that that's going to work out quite nicely. Okay, so that should be all of the coal... All of the coal taken care of, all of the iron taken care of, and we should now only be using iron. We should only be processing iron. If we want to process coal, we will be able to process coal, but I don't think I super want to be processing coal right now anyway. When we do process coal, we'll process it over here. We'll probably stick down another factory, and that will be that, will be that as they say. This is the most ridiculous excursion out here. I am super not convinced I know what's going on there. Same with this area over here. I mean, this looks, this looks ridiculous. This looks absolutely ridiculous. But, I mean, if it works, it works. It's a setup that's going to have to stick around for a little while longer. Because I just, I just feel like we gotta, we gotta, we gotta see how it rolls. We gotta see how it rolls. We gotta see what happens. Okay, see, we're not processing, we're not processing enough of this, we're not processing enough of this iron into, into iron ore. Uh, sorry, not into iron ore, into just straight up plain iron. And that's causing, that's causing an issue, that's causing an issue. Yeah, how's our gold doing? I mean, our gold, honestly, I, I would figure should be doing better. Should I get some more drone, should I get some more drones set up? 
Uh, sure. Get a... Get a drone system over there and get... Get four more drones. Yeah, get four more drones. And that should theoretically allow us just to move that little bit of extra... Little bit of extra gold now and again. Which should be great. But man, I really dislike these trucks. These trucks are chronically slow. 2,600... 2,600 resources moved? That is... That is pretty bad. And I feel like the reason that it's pretty bad is straight up just down to... Just down to the fact that this is... This is this is this this is the truck life, you know. This is truck life, and there's nothing that we can do about it. We can't even, we can't even speed up the number. The, we can't we can't even speed up the speed of the trucks. We just sort of have to have to lump it. Unlock the crate gate. Unlock. I think we need to unlock this, right? We need to absolutely unlock the the crate gate. Yeah. For sure, for sure, that's what we need to do. Um, I mean, my research being over there, am I happy with that? I don't know. I don't know. I want to... I want to... I want to do more better research. More better research is kind of what I... is kind of what I... what I'm interested in. I mean, this is going fine. We're extracting the maximum amount of value from... from that over there. I just wonder. I just wonder. Is there may be something that I can do about this single block that's just standing there. I've got four crates. Hmm. I think I can do something about this. I think I absolutely can do something about this. Let me see. Okay. So theoretically, what I could do is I could get a could get one of these. Yeah. And then I could literally just make a belt. Well, can't build there. But I could make a belt right over here. And a pickup point right there. Yeah, so I could do that. So if I do that, and then break this here. Break that there and that there. Yes, good. Okay. Come down here. Yep. Down that away. And oh. It's so close. No, not like that. But but pretty close to that. Do you mind? Video game? There we go. Okay, grand. Uh that's a drop-off point. That is a pickup point over here. And that should mean... Uh, hold on, I'm going to need to change the uh, direction. There we go. Get that dropped off. Get that dropped off. It should mean that whatever extra we're producing, it's all going to go into... It's all going to go into the system to be processed and turned around into, into lovely, lovely resources. And that should theoretically mean that that's just a little bit more production, which we can... Which we can use to to sell, because that's what's key, right? We need to sell the resources in order to in order to meet our targets, and also we want to make sure that we're not wasting just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of iron, which is kind of what we're doing at the moment. But if we do this, then that means that we're uh, we're not wasting tons and tons of iron, and we're actually going to get through, you know, this this massive backlog of iron that we seem to have built up. Yeah, it's really good. That's really, really good. Okay, I'm not I'm not super happy with this setup just as a whole, but I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It works. It works, and it's making us money. We are we are profitable. If we have a little look at our finances, ah, it looks like we're making about 40, 50,000. 40 or 50,000 a month. I mean, this gold area is... I mean, it needs work. It absolutely needs work. It absolutely needs work. Hmm... I mean, we are processing. We are processing this gold just about as fast as we as we possibly can. Yeah. Yeah, we're processing it as fast as we can, and yet even that is still not fast enough. We just can't get the trucks in at a fast enough pace to keep pace with what we're what we're after. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Nice. 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 And nice. 
You know what? I think that we should totally start work on a... Ooh, very, very nice indeed. I think we should start work on a... Um, I think we should start work on a coal factory. I think a coal factory would be... Would be right what the doctor ordered. Yeah, we are still not consuming. We're still not using enough enough of this iron. Yeah, it's a big old bummer. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna start working a coal factory. Okay, so ditch this, ditch this whole this whole thing. And you know what? Ditch this as well. And what we'll do for now is We'll just connect this up. This is a very temporary setup, I would hasten to add. Very, very temporary. Very, very temporary. Okay. And then let's get a factory, but I can't build a factory because we've got a power pole there. So let's remove that and then try it once again. Build a factory. Uh, can I build a factory on the... on the minecart track? Man, factories are cheap. I didn't realize that factories were were this cheap. I mean, that's a good deal. Okay. Take this back. Nice. Uh, this could actually become our processing area for both for both iron and coal, if I felt so inclined. I don't believe that I do feel so inclined, though. Okay. Take that back a little bit. That's a bit too far back. bit too far back. Okay, and down here, and straight out the other side. And there's no door here. Why is there not a door here? I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I ordered the finest door to be delivered right to that location. Okay, wonderful. And let's get, let's get that little, that little funny piece helps us accomplish oh so much. Okay, so we're just going to try and replicate the setup that we've got going on. How do I not have power over here? Definitely feel like I should have power. Is it the fact that we've got too much? Yeah, I think we're, we're over capacity. That's a bit of a bit of a bummer. Right, there we go. Okay, much better. Right, let's copy exactly what we've got over here except let's do it let's do it a heck of a lot better this time now the great thing is is that it doesn't matter how many mistakes you make it doesn't matter how many mistakes you make you can just delete it all and start again if you if you wish to okay so we'll do that right there then what we'll do is we'll have a setup where we hold on yeah so we want to take we want to take the coal ore out we want to turn it into, we want to put it into a crate. Yeah, so I want to get the appropriate attachments. Yep, so we want to crateify it, right? No, 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 no. Yeah, crateify it. Okay, and then refine it. So... A little bit short on space. Bit of a bummer. Cool, cool. That's 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 actually that's actually okay. Uh, I think that we can make this work. There we go, and there we go. Grand. So that'll be that. And then what we want to do is we want to turn this into. We want to turn this into. Into some lovely nonsense. And by lovely nonsense, I of course mean, I of course, I of course mean the, uh, the fantastic, the fantastic, fantastic iron, uh, sorry, coal mush. Hold on, this is, oh, this could be coal or iron. At the moment, it's iron. Yeah, fine, we'll, we'll leave it as that for now. Uh, this is not gonna work, is it? I've experienced difficulties with this before. We need to get it to a, we need to get them both unified on a single belt, so let's do that. And that, and then we will do this over here. I want to get a setup like I had. There we go. If I do that, and then I put one of these sucky, sucky, pumpy, pumpies over here. That's probably not 
not where it needs to be. Okay, try... Try over there, yeah, and then... Does this really need to be a large, a large tub? I don't think it needs to be a large tub. Okay. Well, that can definitely be unload. So let's... Let's shoot for where we want to get it to be. So that's going to go in there like so. We're going to get the resources to where they need to be with claw train. That goes there. Loading goes like... That's the wrong way around. I always do it. The name loading and unloading, they just need to be changed. They just straight up need to be changed. Okay, so that goes like that. Then we have a literal... A literal mini claw train set up. Where we just do... Where we just do that. Okay, this is the first claw train that I've actually built that feels... That feels good. Okay, add a whole bunch of claws. That's fine. It's just going round and round and round and round and round. Pick that up there. Pick that up there. Great. Get it dropped off there. Perfect. Get it sucked up. This is processed iron. That's perfect. It's going to be turned into whatever mush it needs to be turned into. This... This train is running in the wrong direction. Not happy about that. Yeah, we got a heck of a lot of... We got a heck of a lot of iron, to be honest. I think I might just delete that right over there. And the reason why is that I'll just stick a... A crate maker... Right over there. And that can go right in over there. And then... I will just have a... Little belt over here. We'll get that loaded up. And... Can delete that section of track. And that goes down there like that. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit... A little bit long. A little bit finicky. It's going to look, look a little bit daft. But it'll... It'll work. It'll work, right? It'll work. Roll with me here, folks. White... Sometimes the track just doesn't want to bend, you know? So sometimes I'll, I just need to do a, a corner manually. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. That's going to be another pickup point. Pick that up. And then drop off the resources where they need to be dropped off. Wonderful. Yeah, I think we need to maybe get another another refinery, to be honest, but I don't think that we've got the space for that. The refineries take a lot of time. The refineries take a fair bit of time and effort and energy to get to where they need to be. Okay, get that. Okay, we have a lot of research points. I'm almost certain that we're going to be able to unlock this bit of, bit of tech pretty soon. Am I able to unlock it? I should be able to unlock it. 150,000 points, 150,000 research points. I should definitely be able to unlock that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, how's the how's the train looking? The train is looking a-okay. Am I loading up with any of the specialized iron? I don't have any coal on this route either now, so that needs to be kept in mind. We should literally just be supplying iron over here. Literally just iron. Because all of the iron ore is going to get sucked up. Iron ore. There we go. All of the iron ore is going to get sucked up in this in this big thing. And we're not unloading because I don't think we have enough. And this is coal over here. Okay. I see what the issue is. Destroy all crates. There we go. Destroy all crates. So coal was jamming up the process a little bit. I need to be more explicit. I need to say only iron ore, only coal ore, etc. I mean, this system at the moment will work pretty, pretty well, I think. It certainly seems like it's working pretty darn well. Once it gets into the, into the groove, I think it'll work just a little bit better than it currently is, which is nice. I mean, we are making money this whole time. It looks like my gold system has been working has been working pretty much flawlessly actually yeah as it turns out we're making we're making a butt ton of gold what's going on over here i think we're just i think we're just using using all of our gold ah i tell you what no we're not using all of our gold that's that's a really silly thing to say 
uh, we're absolutely not using all of our gold because all of the gold, all of the gold needs to be collected from this uh, this here mine over here. That's ridiculous. I should have spotted that way earlier. All right. Well, at least that means that we can get absolutely everything properly properly serviced and we can start using all of our gold to its fullest potential as opposed to just using like half of it and wasting a whole bunch of power. But that's okay. You live and you learn, eh? You live and you learn. Okay, this is this is looking and feeling feeling pretty darn good. Uh, but as I say, it's contingent on getting enough gold and making everything work smoothly. But this this feels good. This feels real, real good. I should be able to get this unlock, but I'm thus far unable to do so. Yeah, I should have all of the I should have all of the requirements. I should have all of the requirements. My three month wait record output, record three month wait output is is that much? Do I need to get the the three thousand this month? Is that what I need to do? The current wait output record? Um I've done it. I have definitely done it. Maybe it's locked for this specific level? I I don't know. I've got the prerequisite. I, I don't think that there's anything else that I need to do. Uh, there's no other no other bits that are required. No, I, I, I don't I don't know. I I don't I couldn't possibly couldn't possibly know what else it is that we actually need. Okay. Are these research labs sucking up all of the things that they need to be sucking up? I mean, kind of, is the answer to that question. But they're not sucking up nearly enough. So maybe the answer to that is get more research labs. But, I mean, this is, this is working. This is working pretty pretty darn well. Uh, it just winds me up, though. Why am I not able to get... Why am I not able to get that? It says, it says unlock, and it's highlighted in a slightly different color text. Which is oh so infuriating. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's maybe it's the level limitation. I don't know. It, it feels like it shouldn't be. I need to I need to make something bold. I need I need to, need to make something big and bold. I think that what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to find a way. We're gonna need to find a way to set up like a coal supply route. I mean, we've, we do have coal over here. We do need we do have coal over there. I mean, we could make another system like this to process coal. One of the irritating limitations about about the uh, about the this this whatever this research thing, one of the really irritating things about that is that we must have another research dome in proximity, which makes absolutely everything just that little bit harder. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, do that. Do that. Okay, this. This, again, seems like a pretty arbitrary, pretty arbitrary, pretty irritating uh, little requirement, but, I mean, it is what it is, right? Is there any chance that maybe I can do something with this research dome? I mean, I was kind of just plonking down this research dome and hoping that I would, you know, be able to, be able to just sort of path to somewhere a little bit better. But I'm actually realizing now that maybe, just maybe, I can also have a research dome over here. That's the wrong direction. That was facing entirely the wrong direction. There we go. And then the research dome needs to go plonk right in there and power it up. Right? Or not. As the case may be. There we go. Get it powered up. Okay, that research dome is just going to be for show, but I mean this one this one is the real deal. The, the real deal. And that's going to consume yet more iron or iron uh, processed iron, actually. Just just iron. It's confusing having iron and iron ore, but, I mean, you know. I guess it is what it is. So that's going to be there. That's good. Uh, and it also means that I can now get a bunch more research domes over, over here. Yeah. Mm, that's probably... That's probably enough. That's probably enough. Uh... 
Next thing that I want to do is set up the inputs to them. I'm just going to set the inputs up now. Maybe that's a really bad decision, but I'm going to do it anyway. There we go, just like so. So what we need to now do is we need to get the coal out of the ground, and then we need to process it, and then we need to get it turned into proper coal, and then we need to get it moved to here. Although we could ship out, we could ship out the moved coal, but I'm not particularly interested in doing that. Research? No, still can't. Still can't do the research. Still cannot do the research. That's really irritating. Okay, well that's it's fine, I guess. It's fine. Okay, so we're gonna need two mine trucks, mine cart trucks, mine truck carts. Okay, let's get a factory that looks like that. And I think that this should be the best way of doing it. We're gonna get two. We're gonna get two doors at either side. In my mind we have a little track that goes all the way down here and there we go there we go and sure it's just not long enough that's sod's law folks sod's law in action proving once again that uh no matter how hard you try sometimes when you try your best you don't succeed as Coldplay said. You know, truly an anthem of our ages. Right, get that in place. This is... This is miserable. Because uh, we're going to have to do this annoying little... Little curvy band up here as well. But it's worthwhile. Worthwhile just getting it done anyway. Okay, so that's going to be... That's going to be the output. So we're going to have, uh, you know, tracks over there. Let's now get the mining rigs right three mining rigs that seems pretty darn reasonable we're gonna want to get small containers set up to all of these so let's get little pipe connectors uh, i will do that side and i will do that side yeah cool and cool nice and then we want to get dumpers yep and yep is that going to work? Is that going to be a nice a nice setup for us? Oh, it's we're out of funds. We're out of funds. It's, that's pretty irritating. But that's okay. How are we doing gold-wise? I need to I need to check on the gold situation. I also need more robots. I definitely need more robots. I don't like how my robots are sort of flying around. Creates a neural network for the supercomputer or something, yeah, whatever. I mean, can I, if I was to, if I was to disconnect, like, these two power networks, it wouldn't make any difference, but would it mean that the drones sort of stick over here? Because if the drones would sort of keep themselves to themselves, then that would be, that would be really super helpful. But at the moment, I feel like they're just wasting a heck of a lot of time flying between, you know, the two, the two locations, which isn't really helping anyone at all, actually, you know, the more that I think about it. Not really, not really that handy. Uh, where was I? Oh yes, trucks. Uh, trucks and tracks. Mostly tracks. Okay, that goes there. That is not good enough, I'm afraid. Ugh. Okay, I was ambitious. I was ambitious with this. It's not going to work even if I do... Even if I do that, ooh, yeah, this is this is this is the this is the challenging bit. This is the challenging bit: getting the track to getting the track to work together in a way that doesn't feel utterly awful. Okay, there we go, and there we go. Sure, I guess, I guess. I mean, if this if it works like this, then we'll we'll keep it this way. I'm not a huge fan. But it is what it is, right? Okay, can we not build here? We can build here. Oh, I thought we can build here. Oh, you you swizz. You told me I could do a video game and then you, you didn't do it. Uh, I mean, we could always have like an input to the factory. Like, 
right in here. Sure, let's pretend like that's a good idea, shall we? Right, do that. It's not even at the right place. There we go. Okay, that's quite nice. I mean, I say quite nice. I've seen better. I've, I've definitely seen better. And then we get that. And then that. And then another one. Is that really, is that really what I'm going to do? You know what? No, it's not. Just, uh, just get another, just get another flipping door as opposed to being so darn cheap, Orbital. All right, there we go. And there we go. And there we go. Okay. So that is, that is loop numero uno. Okay. Loop numero uno. Am I happy with it? No. No, I'm not happy with it. I think, in fact, it it's it runs pretty contrary to almost everything that I originally set out uh, to do, and therefore I'm gonna just I'm just gonna delete it. That's right. I don't like how it looks. This setup is garbage. Uh, that setup is fine. Let's let's take another punt at that. That's that's just not gonna work. It's simply not gonna work. Cool. And then dump right there. And continue with the track. Track runs right under there. Perfect. Okay, that is exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. And that looks a heck of a lot better. It's a heck of a lot smoother. It's a single, it's a single circular loop. And that works great. Okay. Next thing's next. Let's get a let's get an unloader right over here. First things first. Let's get that over there. And hopefully we'll have enough space to make all of our dreams come true. We're going to want to get a crate maker. I have insufficient funds apparently. If I could I theoretically get a crate maker over here? Mm, maybe I think is the answer to that question, the technical answer to that question. No, I can't get a crate maker over there. I cannot do that. Is that a bummer? Yes. Is that the end of the world no because honestly two crate makers i think are going to give me are going to give me the throughput that i want anyway right so let's get two two of those guys yep that in there nice that feels good that looks good very very happy with that then let's get some loading bays here which i need to wait for additional funds to get nice oh look at this now we're coming in with a heck of a lot of iron very good. Still no, still no chance of getting, still no chance of getting this. No, nope, apparently not. No idea why. I've got to presume it. It must be something that I said. It all looks, it all looks highlighted to me. I've got the research points. I've, I've got the, I've got the business. I've got the business. I've got the, I've got the, I've got the proof. I got the proof of ID. Okay, just give me, give me that there, and that there, nope, oh, come on, and insufficient funds again, come on, don't make me start selling research labs video game, I don't want to do that, I don't want to do that at all, because that's, that's cheating, and I don't condone that, okay, so that's that, anyway, let's just, let's just roll with that for now, roll with that for now, so that's, that's the sort of setup that we've got over here, now we're going to want to get a bunch of refineries. And the way in which we're going to do that, I think, is as follows. Uh, I could do I could do with a little bit of money. I could do with a little bit of money. Take that away for now. Yeah, I don't have I don't have anywhere near the money to get refineries. Right? Uh, well, you know what? If in times of desperate need, you know what they say. They sell, they say, sell a bunch of research labs that only cost 5,000 to make, but actually cost 10,000 to sell. I still cannot believe that this actually happened. The reason that I'm doing this, by the way, purely to accelerate our progress rather than actually just wait around. Okay, must have another research dome in the proximity. We'll rebuild these in a, we'll rebuild these in a little bit. Let's, uh, let's pause and, let's pause and chat about exactly what we want to do right now. So... 
We're going to need refineries. Refineries could be theoretically straight from the box makers, but I think that the better way to do it is something like this, where we just have a gargantuan amount of refineries. Yes, okay. Such a gargantuan amount, apparently, that I'm going to have to... That's right. I'm going to have to do some more business. That's... This is... I cannot believe that this got through quality assurance. Like, this is... I, I am shocked. I, I'm shocked that a bug so simple as you buy something for a different price than which you can sell it got through. That is ridiculous. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to use it until it's until it's patched, which will be well, probably the next time I play this game. Right. So the load station, now then we're going to pick this up from here and take it where um Hold on a minute. Is there any way that I can Could I maybe do something like this? Yeah, but that doesn't work. That won't that won't allow me to transfer to that. Yeah. Yeah, that's irritating actually. Okay. Um I mean, the way to do it is to just pick it up with is to pick it up with uh with the claw train and take it to where it needs to go. So if we have a setup over here perhaps where we have a small container there we go. If we have a small container right over there, and then we have a... Oh, no. We need to dump onto this track, don't we? I forgot about that. Whoops. So the small container is going to need to go over this side, and then we're going to need to dump onto that track from there. That's cool. Can I link up? Would that make Would that make sense? Would that Would that work? If I was to do that, I, I guess we'll I guess we'll see, won't we? Okay, so if I do this and then I have like a like an input over here. So we're going to need to turn the resources straight up into mush. So we're going to suck up from here. Yep, and then we're going to have to have a drop off point, one of these things, and then an unload station at the back. And that is going to be that, I think. Is there another place that we can do that? Not really. What well, I tell you what we could do. Let me let me move this across just a little bit. Okay. I mean, this is all predicated by the way on This is all predicated on the whole transfer tube working, allowing me to transfer between storages. That's that's a big presumption to make. That's a big presumption to make. I'm going to make it because I'm an optimist. I'm an absolute optimist. It may not seem like it, but I am an, I'm absolutely an optimist. Anyway, if I do if I make that movement which I just which I just made, then that means effectively we can have three loading points, three loading points for the resources that we want to load into here. Man, this this is looking and feeling ridiculously good. In fact, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. Okay. So that's that. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's get that set up. Let's now get some claw trains. The claw trains should take resources here along to here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then they come down here. They pick up these resources. Yep. And then it comes down. In fact, to be honest, that could just be one loop. But I guess I guess I'm just gonna make it all in the same loop. Come across here. Great. Up here. Great. And then we're gonna want to go back to the very beginning. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that could have been split into two slightly smaller loops. I'm not really sure if that would be to our advantage or not. Unpause. Sure. Oh, great. That's, that's a whole bunch of extra money that I've uh, that I've just received. Very, very happy about that, to be honest. Very much needed. Okay. 
Nice. Does that uh, does that connect up? I don't think it don't think it wants to. Okay, let's have a direct connection. Yeah, okay, that's grand. So let's get one cart, one cart over there. You know, it's sort of just a proof of concept. See if it'll work. I mean, I know it will. I envision this truck going the other direction. Okay, I set a proof of concept. Now I believe it's been proved by absolutely nothing. Okay. So, also we want to enable, in fact we don't need to enable only coal storage because it can only store coal in here. Okay, uh, this isn't a proof of concept because it's not fully kitted out because I've just realized that we don't have the claw thingamabobbers here. So we're going to need to wait for just a little bit more money in order to make that happen. One more payment, please. One more payment, one more payment, one more payment. It's going to happen any moment now. As soon as I zoom out, it's going to... Oh, there we go. Perfect. And then drop off, drop off, drop off, drop off, drop off, drop off, drop off. All right. Nice. Nice. Minus 39 grand. Jeez Louise. I mean, I would sell. I would sell a couple of... A couple of bits and bobs now, but... A couple of science labs, but I don't feel like that's very... I don't feel like that's in the spirit of the game. I mean, when things are going good, you don't want to... You don't want to cheat. You want to... You want to not cheat. That's the... That's the aim of the game, right? Sure. Okay, 10 more grand to overturn, 10 more grand in sales, let's just get the gold, get the gold sorted. Anyway, so this is going to take care of the, the processing of uh, coal for the research purposes. I just, I just don't get it, I just don't get it, I just do not get it. So coal for research purposes, that's going to be taken care of uh, with the brand new estate. Iron is going to be processed in the old area. Which is grand. Yeah, the whole this this whole this whole setup is is remarkably inefficient, and I'm uh, not a huge fan of it. Not a huge fan of it at all. Yeah, it definitely needs amending. It definitely needs it definitely needs fixing. For sure. I mean, I've basically just made a non. A non-money producing source over here this whole setup which we've just you know which we've just gone and set up is not to make us money it's to make us research which is you know it's all very well and good but um but apparently apparently it's not making us any money apparently it's not making us anything at all okay sell that sell that sell that that's fine Keep the keep the extra bits for now, and let's just get some pick up and drop off points. Just one. Just give me one pick up and drop off point. One pick up and drop off point over there. Hold on. I want to only accept. Want to only accept processed coal, over there. Perfect. Same with this. None. Only accept processed coal. None. Only accept processed coal. Cool. On pause, I think we should have, we should have the ability to, there we go. Pause a second, down over there, down over there. Okay, and get one research lab. Even if we can only afford one, then that'd be great. Okay, so it costs 10 grand on some occasions and then it costs 10 grand when we don't have enough money. And it costs five grand when we do have enough money. Right, that's hilarious. That's absolutely hilarious. Hold on, are you guys going around carrying processed coal? This is coal that I'm mining over here, isn't it? It is coal ore. Yeah. What seems to be the issue? What seems to be the problem here? 
folks? What's what's the what's the situation that's going on? Have I drop off? Yeah, I've I've got a drop off. Let's pick up. Yeah, what have I done anything? Have I done anything remarkably wrong? Doesn't look like it. Uh, can I just put that on all? Will that make a difference? That does look like it makes a difference. That's coal ore, so that's not actually what I want. Turns out, I shoulda, I shoulda trusted my instinct. This is, this is a little bit of a problem. This is why, this is why it doesn't pay to have this on two different, or on the same network. You want to have this on two different networks, I think. And that will always mean that you're able to pick up resources. Because at the moment, we're in a little bit of a rut where our resources can't be picked up from here and delivered over over here. Yeah, that's a bit of a, that's a, bit of a bummer. Wow, we're on a million. A million flipping research points. And still absolutely no idea why this isn't going to unlock. I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. All right. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to hopefully return to profitability in the next episode. Uh we've got a science area. I'm pretty happy with this. We're going to we're going to kit out some some labs over here. This is probably going to become our, our primary science area. This this setup has got to change. Um I mean, I like this setup over here. It's not perfect, but it's uh it, it's not it's not too bad. This gold setup is is actually pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, pretty pretty happy with it, apart from the fact that we're not really making that much gold. But the gold that we are making, we're making we're making pretty consistently, to be honest. We're making pretty darn consistently. And you know what? We've got two we've got a separate a separate loop over there, over here as well. So I mean that is that is lessons to be learned from myself. Anyway, ladies and gents, thanks as ever to my fantastic patrons over at patreon.com forward slash show potato. This has been Automation Empire. I hope you'll join me for the next one. Bye.